Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Google Cloud Next conversational AI session. I'm Shantanu Mishra. I am the product lead for Google CC AI. I'm joined by my colleague, Callum. Thanks, Shantanu. My name is Callum Barnes. I'm the product lead for speech technologies in Google Cloud. We're also joined today by one of our customers, Craig Sultan from the Help Depot. Just super thankful to be able to uh, present here at Next. Uh, super opportunity for me and uh, super opportunity for the Home Depot. Thanks, Greg. It's great to have you here. We have a packed agenda today. We're going to talk briefly about the conversational AI space and how we view it. We're going to cover a few key speech launches. We're going to get a sneak peek in the product through the demo. And we're also going to hear the Home Depot story in how they have adopted Google CCI and are getting benefits from it. So Google has uh, made significant investments in conversational AI for the last decade or even more, both inside of Google Cloud and outside. And we get to benefit from this investment in core conversational AI technology and expose that to our customers through solutions with all real world needs and real world use cases. So whether it's highly accurate speech to text in different languages and in a variety of environments, whether it's high quality text to speech voices with customizations, or it's the different AI features available in Dialogflow, including document based assistance or sentiment analysis. All of these areas benefit from the research innovation that Google more broadly is making. And we are glad that our enterprises are getting the best of Google AI in the process. CC AI or contact center AI is a solution that we have invested significantly in over the last few years, and we continue to remain really excited about the opportunity. It consists of three different product pillars. Dialogflow is the first one, which enables developers and enterprises to create automated conversational experiences or chatbots or voice bots. With 1.6 million developers, it is by far the largest platform available in the market. Agent Assist is our second pillar, and it's really a suite of products which allow real-time live assistance to human agents and coaching. The third pillar is CCAI Insights, which unlocks insights about conversations. For the longest time, contact center data was dark data, which no one really had access to, and no one was using that to inform business decisions. Now, with the migration to cloud and digital transformation in general, and the introduction of CCI insights, we can tap into that data and help you glean insights from that and generate trends and analytics, which will be useful in business decision making. So how does all of this come together? So imagine an end user query hitting your business. We expect for all businesses, X percent of your overall portfolio to be automated or handled by the virtual agent. That's where Dialogflow comes in. So you create a Dialogflow application build it once and deploy it everywhere, regardless of whether it's your contact center, through your telephony partners, or through digital or social media channels. We do expect a significant portion of your inbound user query to be too complex to be handled by a virtual agent. And that's when the human agent comes in the loop. With our agent assist portfolio, we assist and coach the human agents in, in answering those user queries in the most efficient and appropriate way as possible. Both these products are informed by insights. Insights helps you identify the call drivers and topics being discussed and take a call on which drivers and topics are gonna to be handled by virtual agent and which are gonna be escalated straight away to human agent. Over the last 12 months, since last year's Google Cloud Next, we have had a series of launches. Dialog for CX went GA in January, and we have seen over the last nine months, we've seen huge adoption and you've seen, actually seen a majority of traffic being served by Dialogflow CX. And there's two reasons for that. Firstly, Dialogflow CX enables customers to model the more complex use cases. So instead of the virtual agent just being limited to the simple use cases, which let's say there are 20 or so topics, customers can now build hundreds of topics which are much more complex. So the scope of the virtual agent has increased drastically. Secondly, Dialogflow CX works at scale. So if you have hundreds of topics, multiple teams working in different time zones, working remotely, Dialogflow CX is the right tool for you. Agent Assist launched their chat experience in May with three important features, 
Smart Reply, which provides quick suggestions to live agents to insert in the responses. Knowledge Assist provides assistance based on the knowledge documents that the business has created, like FAQs. And finally, transcribe calls in real time, which serve as a reference for the live agent in real time, and also is a tool for post-call analysis. We're also announcing the launch of CCI Insights. We have a dedicated session for CCI Insights, which we'd love for you to check out. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Callum, who's gonna discuss some of the key speech launches that we are making in our portfolio. Thanks, Shantanu. I'm excited to be with everyone today and talking about two upcoming uh, launches. First is speaker ID. Uh, and, is, and I'll also be talking about updates to our custom voice offering. So Google Cloud speaker ID is now generally available. Speaker ID brings Google's biometric identification technology directly to Google Cloud and CCAI customers. Our goal with speaker ID was to help contact centers increase efficiency as well as improve user experience by decreasing the amount of time that users have to spend on identification or authentication. So while it, also, while it reduces the amount of time spent here, it also helps decrease fraud by making sure that users actually are who they say they are. Getting started with speaker ID is very easy for users. Uh, they can enroll their voice in a, with as little as 10 seconds of audio. Verification is even faster with just three seconds of audio of the person saying anything. The system is completely text independent and the verification phrases don't have to match the enrollment phrases. Optionally, users can use challenge phrases in order to force the user to speak one specific term. In addition to launching speaker ID today uh, as a standalone API, we're also making it generally available with CCAI and Dialogflow CX. We have a native integration with Dialogflow that allows you to leverage speaker ID with your existing agents. This means you only have to send audio to Dialogflow once, uh, and it can be used for intent detection and entity extraction and identification and verification right alongside it. We're also making available pre-made Dialogflow components to set up enrollment or challenge-based authentication flows. And for users using speaker ID, you can configure passive verification where you can hear and verify users based on saying anything uh, at the page level. And now I'm gonna play a short demo video from our developer advocate, Lee Boonstra, that shows configuring a virtual agent with speaker ID in Dialogflow CX, and then actually talking to and interacting with that bot. I will call a phone number from my example project. Since my phone number is calling for the first time, it will ask me to complete the enrollment process. Then I will set up speaker ID. I will do this by training a machine learning model with my voice by repeating phrases. The next time when I call the contact center, it recognizes my phone number and it recognizes my voice through passive speaker ID verification. Let's dive into a demo. What would you like to do? I would like to see my billing. Do you want to enroll in speaker ID? Yes. Please repeat the following phrase. Our shirts are all the same color, but are all different sizes. All shirts are all the same color, but they're all different sizes. Successfully enrolled the third phrase. Successfully registered the new speaker ID. You have $100 million. What would you like to do? I would like to see my billing. Successfully verified. You have $100 million. Congratulations. Awesome. Thanks, Lee, for creating that demo. Next, I'm gonna talk about custom voice. Last year at Next, we introduced our custom voice technology that customers can use to create their own text-to-speech voices with just 30 minutes of audio from their own voice actor, creating a voice experience that sounds exactly like how you want it and is unique to your brand or your specific use case. Today, we're announcing the availability of Custom Voice 2. This is a new modeling technology based on Google's industry-leading PNG NAT technology. Custom Voice 2 uh, allows us to create voices that are more robust as well as more tunable. So now you'll be able to tune your voice in real time and control things like tone, prosody, or playback speed. Additionally, we're announcing availability in two additional languages 
Spanish, and French, in addition to English, which is already available. Uh, Custom Voice 2 is available today, so you can contact your seller to get started. In a few more weeks, we will be making all of Custom Voice generally available uh, for select customers so that it can be used in production workloads, standalone, or within CCAI and Dialogflow experiences. Now let's take a look at some of the improvements we've made with Custom Voice 2. So I'm going to play a couple audio samples for you uh, in each of these locales. Uh, one will be from the human voice talent that the voice is trained on, and the next will be our Custom Voice 2 synthesized audio. And we'll see if you can figure out which is which. My food is in the oven since I'm working from home today. My food is in the oven since I'm working from home today. So were you able to hear which was which? In this case, the first one was the human voice actor and the second was our custom voice two synthesis, but they were quite close. Let's see how it sounds on uh, UK English, a uh, speaker with a different accent. Can you describe your experience, please? Can you describe your experience, please? So they were pretty similar. In this case, again, the first one was the human voice actor and the second was our custom voice two synthesis. Now let's try it in a different language. Uh, we're making Spanish US available as one of the locales for custom voice. Las servilletas se utilizan para limpiarse o secarse la boca y las manos. And a second. Las servilletas se utilizan para limpiarse o secarse la boca y las manos. Even though I don't speak Spanish, I still had a hard time uh, telling the difference between the two. In this case, the first one was our CB2 synthesis, and the second was the human voice actor. All right, thanks very much. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about custom voice uh, or speaker ID, you can contact your Google Cloud seller. Now I'm going to hand it back over to Shantanu to talk about some of the customers that we're working with in CCAI and Dialogue. Thanks, Callum, and congratulations on those launches. Those sound like very important additions to the CCI portfolio. So when it comes to our customers, you've seen very strong traction over the past few years across industries, across geographies, and across our CCI portfolio, we've seen rapid adoption. The COVID pandemic has accelerated digital transformation in contact centers, and that has really benefited us. The CCI portfolio has been seeing huge demand. Especially for the COVID pandemic, our public sector used us for a variety of use cases. For example, booking COVID testing appointments or scheduling your COVID vaccines or citizens reaching out to businesses for the different COVID benefits. We're really humble to serve the public sector and healthcare navigate this, these tough times. We're now going to listen in more detail about the Home Depot journey on how they adopted CCAI and the benefits they are seeing from that. Over to Greg. Thanks. Uh, thrilled to be here and to share with you our case study on the Home Depot. Some of the challenges that we had back in 2019, uh, specific to our store IDR, um, were an incredibly high abandonment rate. Customers were spending an extended amount of time and becoming extremely frustrated with our IDR. In addition, um, as I mentioned, the time spent was in excess of 90 seconds, um, a huge amount of time for a customer and obviously increased their frustration. We had a large proportion of calls that were going straight to our service desk. Again, those are customers that are standing directly in front of our service desk associates, folks that need attention, but calls would be pulling those associates away from them. And last of all, we had no visibility, frankly, uh, to any of the calls um, that were coming in to the stores. On the other side, um, as we look at the associate experience, although um, our associates were fantastic in servicing our customers, the quality of their messages um, based on the experiences that they had were the best that they had. Um, those that had less experience provided less quality experience or less quality examples. It took time, takes time to craft an accurate response, and obviously that time means money. Um, in addition, it takes time to obtain the information that customers need um, to be able to look that information up in other systems. And last of all, just struggling to provide a consistent experience um, for throughout the messaging experience for our customers. Those were some of the huge challenges that we had, had in both the store IVR as well as our messaging associate experience. 
Now, as I take a look, um, we incorporated Google um, and, and talked to them about some of these problems that we had uh, back a couple of years ago. And we implemented Dialogflow uh, ES to be able to help us uh, solve some of these problems on the store IVR side. Um, we essentially replaced our store to IVR from a DTMF solution to a voice solution. Um, we basically included uh, Google's Dialogflow Intent Engine to be able to identify what the customers were speaking about and what their needs were. Um, we even used data and the learnings of uh, our data science team to be able to improve our training data. And essentially did our best to be able to push ES to its limits, uh, to be able to identify exactly what our customers needed and to provide them with self-service experiences within that IBR to be able to reduce the time and effort that it was taking our customers to be able to get what they needed. On the other side, um, we reached out to our folks at uh, Google and use their agent assist functionality to be able to help us. Um, assessing our live agents uh, using something called Smart Compose to be able to finish our agent sentences, uh, making it very, very easy for them to be able to move into their next conversation with a customer um, with all the information that they needed. In addition, uh, we use Smart Reply, a tool that allows us to be able to, in the context of the conversation, to be able to provide um, the snippets of information that our agents need to be able to give the customer uh, what they need in that minute. Again, reducing time and effort on the customer side and obviously making it effortless uh, for our customers. So what kind of impact does that have? Well, right off the bat, um, in the first year alone, we saved over 173 years worth of time for our customers spending in the IDR just an incredible amount of time uh, for them to be reduced. And again, that reduced time in the IVR means reduced frustration for our customers. I mentioned abandons previously. We had a 20% reduction in abandons. Again, customers less frustrated, willing to stick with the IVR and to get the information that they need. I talked about calls going directly to the service desk. We were able to pull 12 million of those calls out and direct them where they needed to go, um, specifically down aisles or to a pro desk or service desk uh, to be able to accommodate the customer, getting them where they needed to be faster and quicker, as well as pulling them out of that service desk queue. A huge increase in containment. Um, so allowing our customers to self-serve themselves with things like store hours, store address, product information, even order status, um, all um, keeping them from getting directly to our store associates. And last of all, um, on the agent assist side, um, we've already started to see a decrease in our average handle time of about 5% based on Smart Reply and Smart Compose. So, um, what's next for us? Um, we're looking at um, something to take us to the next level. So Smart Reply and Smart Compose were great, um, but now we're looking at something called Knowledge Assist. What that does is takes our customer's context and basically pulls the information from knowledge base articles to be able to provide our associates with the information that they need in a quick and efficient way. That is a huge, huge improvement um, and allows us not only to help keep consistent our experience, but also think about those folks that maybe are not as tenured in the associate experience. This allows both our tenured and non-tenured associates to provide the exact same information at the same time. Um, we're also looking at our IT support desk and taking a look at CCAI to see what opportunities there are to automate our Home Depot associates interactions with the IT support desk. Um, being able to use similar types of functionality that we've used with the store IVR in the same efforts of our IT group. And last but not least is taking advantage of CX. Again, I mentioned previously that we took ES to its limits, but we're excited about the opportunity for CX uh, to be able to help us not only uh, to give us better flexibility and speed to market, uh, but also to allow us to be able to test the opportunities that we have um, in a much, much better way, giving us the ability uh, to bring our customers 
true uh, positive experiences in the IVR. Again, uh, just super thankful uh, for the partnership uh, with Google and the efforts that we've made so far and the benefits that it's given to us and looking forward to future um, opportunities here with uh, Google and Dialogflow and Agent Assist. Thanks, Greg. We're really happy with the partnership that we have with Home Depot. Now we're gonna talk about some of the integrations for CCEI. What we really want is for our customers to access us from whichever environment they're comfortable in and for them to extend their CCI use cases as much as possible. Dialogflow has a partnership with Business Messages, which allows all the businesses, the thousands of businesses using Business Messages to introduce Dialogflow Virtual Agent in their experience. The reality is for small and medium businesses, a majority of their end user conversations go unanswered and a Dialogflow bot can help with that. Similarly, as part of the Dialogflow Virtual Agent design process, Virtual Agent fulfillment is a huge aspect of it. And so once you've identified what the user is saying, how do you fulfill that request? With our integration with Apigee, we allow developers and enterprises to use the Apigee API management framework to integrate with Dialogflow fulfillment. And finally, with Dialogflow CX, we have introduced one-click telephony integrations. So Dialogflow CX provides the native IVR settings. So you can develop all of those unique IVR features like DTMF, Bargin, end of speech timeout in the Dialogflow CX console itself, and then click a button and export that experience to the telephony provider of your choice, whether it's an existing provider or a new provider. CCAI is served in the market with the help of our OEM partners. And we're really glad that we continue building on our partner portfolio, whether it's legacy traditional leaders like Avaya, Genesis, Cisco, or the cloud native partners like Five9, Twilio, UJet. We continue to ensure that our customers don't have to rip everything off before they adopt CCAI. You can continue using your existing contacts on the platform and we and the partner will take care of all the integration challenges for you. With that, we come to an end of this session. Thanks a lot for joining us. You can learn more about CCEI at the website mentioned on this page. And thanks Callum and Craig for joining me in this session. Thank you.